it is time, ready or not, to get inside the mind of Coffin Joe. What is going on, everyone? Ken here, Ungraduated Media, coming at you with a quick unboxing of Inside the Mind of Coffin Joe. Now, this thing comes to us from the Brazilian aspect. I got to say, I didn't know a whole lot about this. I saw this on Arrow, and I pretty quickly pulled the trigger to pre-order it when this thing was, I don't know, announced back in... June, July, August. It was supposed to come out in November of 2023. It got delayed. And here it is now in January. It's time to get inside the mind of Coffin Joe. Inside the box. What's in the box? Anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, movies, books, music, the collectability of vinyl, physical media, then hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it around, and certainly let's get engaged in the conversation Drop some comments in the comment section below. I must say that this is all brand new to me. I love getting into some of this new, never for never before seen type of stuff. I'm fairly certain this is the first time this is ever on Blu-ray. Might even be the first time it's ever on DVD. Perhaps it's been on DVD or VHS. But these are all newly done in 4k scans on blu-ray discs this thing has got like 11 or 12 movies in it just take a look at the side there this is all the contents there is art cards and posters and reversible cover art i think this thing's msrp was somewhere like around 140 bucks you might be able to get it a little bit cheaper now i know it's still available on arrow and you might want to try diabolic or deep discount orbits dvd a few of those third-party middleman type of places may be the place to go to get a better deal. I know you're not going to be able to read that. This is all the descriptions here of what's all included inside of this box set. Let's just jump right into it. This is going to be a blind unboxing. I don't know what's all in this. I've been waiting for it to come for a while. almost forgot about it. But I do love blind watching movies. I'd say probably easily half of over the films that I own well over a thousand now at this point that a lot of them are just blind watches for me. I like getting into things and not really worrying too much whether I'm going to enjoy it or not and just taking it for what it's worth, uh, <laughs> absorbing it, taking it all in for better or for worse. That is what I do with well over half of the films that I have in my collection. So here is a view. This is the J card. We'll go ahead and pop that J card off. And the box itself, front cover, again, side, back with the claws, and the top. Opens up. Got a little bit of nudity there, but it's, hey, it's artwork, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Let's see here. You got it on both sides, it looks like. One with, you got the finger-pointing Coffin Joe, and then you got the famously known for long... <laughs> Fingernails, Freddy Krueger-ish, Coffin Joe. And then the top is the same all the way around. Now, apparently this is like a sadistic, carnival-style Brazilian character that, I don't know if he goes around tormenting people or what, but listen to a few of these names of these films. At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul. This Night, I'll possess your corpse the strange world of coffin joe the awakening of the beast the end of man when the gods fall asleep that one intrigues me just the title when the gods fall asleep the strange hostel at the naked pleasures i think that says hellish flesh hallucinations of a deranged mind embodiment of evil and the strange world of jose mojica marinez so don't know if that's a a documentary or whatnot but getting back into the unboxing here let's just set that down um let's see if we can get these out and what's all included in 
this awesome looking box set. There's all your MRA cases with your titles on them. You have a booklet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six MRA cases and a booklet. Let's do the booklet and poster first. So, oh yeah, love that fresh smell of arrow poster newness and goodness. Here is the um, one side and then here is the other side. Pretty much the same as what's on the, the actual box itself. Here's your book. I think this is like purposefully upside down. There you go. Against the world. Cop and Joe against the world. Back is just pretty much plain there. Looks like we got, um, oh, about 100 pages, 87. So lots of different photography works there inside of the book. Lots of details. This almost looks like it could be like a, a vinegar syndrome release. So I give Arrow the credit for going down this path of Cop and Joe. And again, it's going to be quite a discovery for me. I'm excited about digging into these films because I know nothing about them. I think that's what's been exciting about everybody who has purchased this set is that it's so unknown. It's so out there and different looking. Here is At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul. Give you a view on the back there. Pause that just for a second if you want to take a closer look. These Amory cases, they have a, a very thin, these are almost um, just a millimeter, centimeter or so thinner than your normal Blu-ray Amory cases. Maybe that was just a, sorry, I dropped a sticker decal, something here. Business card. What is this? Funeraria. Yosefel Zantanas. That's just part of the... Uh, collector's items I guess that comes with this and here are some of the art cards inside of this one let's see what we got here at midnight I'll take your soul there you go at midnight I'll take your soul and the, this night I'll possess your corpse and then here's the other sides not going to read all of these just part of the artwork that comes with the set uh, some of your disc art. This is just an advertisement, I think. Yeah, Day of the Beast. That's just an advertisement. But here's the disc art on the front of this. There's a, there's a look at it. And then the reversible cover art. I'll just give you a view of the inside of that. That's what that looks like. So I'm not flipping it out and messing it all up taking longer to put it all back together which is already a challenge enough sometimes whenever you do this kind of stuff but uh so that's the first one this is those two films at midnight i'll take your soul and the strange world of jose mojica morenes so that's that one this night i'll possess your corpse thinking that's just uh this is a single one or not Estenoit Encarnato Encarne Noteo. I guess Brazilian is a little different than Espanol. I don't know, and I probably shouldn't make any assumptions. I know a little bit of Spanish. Here's the art cards in this one The Awakening of the Beast, the Strange World of Cough and Joe, and then the other sides of these. And the disc art. So there is two in this. The, this night I'll possess your corpse and the strange world of Cough and Joe. I think all these are probably going to just contain two each for a total of 12. And then your reversible cover art on the inside should you want to flip that artwork around. Again, I... Those of you who, who, who know anything, I don't expect I'm going to get many comments 
about any of these films, but are you excited about checking them out? Have you ordered this set? Are you going to order it? I would imagine this may go quick as people put it out and show what this box set actually all includes because it's such a cool item. But as of right now, I know that it is still available. So go and get it if you are interested. Here is the third one, The Awakening of the Beast. It's like he's got some kind of a needle there in those long fingernails. And uh, there's the back. Let's take a look on the inside. The End of Man. And When the Gods Fall Asleep. So again, I'm, I'm pretty interested in When the Gods Fall Asleep. All of these sound super intriguing to me. And I think the back of these are just in Brazilian. But very cool looking artwork. Super, super cool looking artwork. There's the disc art on this one. And then the reversible cover art. On the inside, if I could get this disc. The End of Man. Y'all know me by now. If you've watched this channel to any kind of a length, which it's still a newer channel. Hasn't quite hit a year yet that I've been doing this. You just know I love my philosophical, contextual theory and uh, all that goodness that comes with some of these pieces of physical media. When the Gods Fall Asleep. Again, just tremendous looking artwork. And I don't know what the deal is with these Amore cases. Again, they are just, just a hair thinner than what they normally would be. You'll know if you get this set. Some of the cards inside of this one. What we got here. Hostile Naked Pleasures. Hellish Flesh. And then on the flip side, it is in... Brazilian on both of those. And your disc art. That's what we got going on here on those two films. And then let's flip this, or not flip, but show our reversible cover art. This is the reversible cover art. So it looks like what they're doing is they are letting you choose which one you want to, to represent the outside. Each of these has two films and the reversible cover art is essentially the other film. So that, I guess they leave up to the owner of how you want to display these. A couple more here to go. Hellish Flesh. It's like a melting kind of a situation going on there. Got The Incredible Melting Man, those types of films from Vinegar Syndrome that I have seen, which are rather enjoyable. A couple more of the lobby cards slash art cards on the inside here. Embodiment of Evil and Hallucinations of a Deranged Mind. And then on the other sides, need to get them nails cut, boy. I'll tell you that right now. Artwork on both of those, and then what the artwork would look like for hallucinations of a deranged mind. I can definitely see these films having quite the audience uh, for those more different, outlandish, strange, just often not known type of films, which unearth films and vinegar syndrome and a lot of those different trauma 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 films yeah anyways embodiment of evil and i'm sure on the inside we'll find out what the other one is the other one on the inside of this is let's see Embodiment of Evil. Pull out this. Yeah, I guess it's just the... Um, I don't know if this is the documentary or, or what, but this is that 12th and final one. Encarnacio Day. And I can't see that right now. But uh, it says here... 
This is in 2008. Return to the Screens and Embodiment of Evil, the official third film in the Coffin Joe trilogy, which began with At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul in 1964 and continued with This Night, I'll Possess Your Corpse in 1967. So I'm not sure what this is. Um, film or not, I guess it's actually a film. Anyways, cover art. Again, looking pretty cool. And I think I show these lobby cards. No, I did not. So, here we go. And then, uh, this one here has just all the films mentioned. So, that is pretty much what is all included within this box set. And again, I don't know, worth it or not, that's going to depend on the actual films, I think, because... As cool as the lobby cards are, as cool as the artwork is, and reversible cover arts, and having six MRA cases and, and a book, for the MSRP of like 139 bucks, initially, I wouldn't say this is worth it. Uh, very cool, though. Now, I'm just excited to dive into the films and try to figure out what's all going on. I'm sure these are going to all be subtitled, so that's going to be one thing. If you don't love subtitles... And I know some people don't mind it. I myself have grown, grown very accustomed to not minding subtitles at all. I know early on in my film viewing day, I couldn't stand it. But uh, as you get into the boutique collectability, you get, you get quite used to the subtitles. And I think you miss out on films if you are just used to only watching English language films. Heck, I know people who actually throw on subtitles even in just English language films. So anyways, what are your thoughts on Inside the Mind of Coffin Joe? You're going to pick it up? You're going to enjoy all that Coffin Joe goodness? Or are you going to pass? Let me know in those comments section below what you intend to do. Because I think that um, I'm going to probably watch a few of these tonight. Because I'm just excited to see what it's all about. So there you have it inside the mind of coffin joe thanks for tuning in and for checking out this unboxing this quick unboxing just don't know a whole lot more about it and i'm sure that's probably how it's going to stay for a lot of people but uh, as i do go through time if there is some enlightening perspective or philosophical context or places we can discuss and have some dialogue around the films you know I'll be doing that from my own mind, not just Coffin Joe's mind. So thanks for tuning in. Take care for now. Talk to you all again soon.